what you got there? This is part one of my summer reading. What? Yeah, I had to get some books together. You know, I think I've got like four different piles like that all getting ready to be read this summer. Wow. That's a lot of books. Yeah, well, you know, that's what summer's all about for me. It's all about reading. You excited for summer reading? I am stoked. I am excited. <laughs> I am just, I can't wait. It's right around the corner. Nice. So obviously this video, everyone, is all about summer reading. Um, Two-prong attack today. We're going to talk about the summer reading book list from Belmont, from Belmont Public Schools, but also talk about programming and what's happening at the Belmont Public Library. So again, Mr. Tavares here today, along with Miss Lauren from Belmont Public Library. Hey guys. So Lauren, for you growing up, what were your thoughts about the summer reading that you had to do when you were a little in? Um, so I always really loved the, the book lists. You know, we would oftentimes go to the beach or if I went to camp, I didn't necessarily make all of the programs at the library, but I pretty much read... Uh, all of Roald Dahl's books over the summer at one point or another, or, um, you know, just pretty much any of the big, the big books that I really loved, I, I got to work on, and they were usually on one of those lists. And if they weren't on the list, then it, the list was a great way for me to figure out something else that I would really like to. So I loved having a selection of things to choose from. That's great. It's good to hear that you're such an avid reader, and especially when you were younger. Um, for me, I'm going to be honest, Summer reading for me is a, a little and wasn't about the books as much as it was all the programming that the library did. So yeah, I would do like the reading that I had to do in order to go ahead and get the prizes that they would have. But for me, I enjoyed just going to the library, being someplace cool, because it was usually kind of hot outside, mm -hmm. um, and just going in and seeing the different performers that they would have. They'd bring in animals, they'd bring in artists, jugglers, all kinds of different things, all usually with some kind of theme to kind of keep us entertained and keep us cool, but also immerse us in books in an atmosphere that promotes literacy, learning, and of course, reading. So today, kind of is our next part, is we're gonna actually talk about the different book lists that have been assembled by the Belmont Public Schools in conjunction with the Belmont Public Library. And then Ms. Lauren is gonna fill us in on kind of what's happening at the library and, and how things are gonna work there this summer. Ready to get started? Yeah. Let's get right into our first list. Let's take a look at the Summer Reading Suggestions 2020 for grades K through 1. Keep in mind that the books below are available in print and as e-resources via the collections of the Belmont Public Library. For any help getting digital copies and digital resources, feel free to check the links below. Our lists start with favorite picture book authors. You'll see some very familiar names such as Jan Brett, Brian Lees, and of course Dr. Seuss and Mo Willems. Keep in mind, though, that summer reading is a great opportunity to explore new authors and find new favorite picture books. For brand new readers, we have a great selection of books. For word practice, be sure to check out the I Like to Read series or the Now I'm Reading series. For story practice, you can never go wrong with Dr. Seuss. For young readers who are building more independence, be sure to check out some of these favorite easy readers and series. Frog and Toad, Fly Guy, and of course, Baby Monkey are just a few of these great titles. Here we have the Summer Reading Suggestions 2020 for grades 2 to 3. These authors and titles are available via the collections of the Belmont Public Library, either as print and or digital resources. Check the links below for any help with digital resources. Looking at the realistic and funny selections on our reading list, we have some really wonderful series, including Ivy and Bean, Mercy Watson, and of course, Katie Wu. Be sure to check them all out. If you're looking for a good mystery, check out these series. There's everything from the A to Z mysteries to the boxcar children. If you're a fan of mysteries, you'll find something to love here. Next, we have an extensive list of fantasy, science fiction, and graphic novels. Some of the highlights here for me would be How to Train Your Dragon, Lunch Lady, and of course, Princess in Black. If you're in need for some non-fiction, be sure to check out Before She Was Harriet, Brad Meltzer's I Am series, and of course, the Who Would Win series. Here we have the Summer Reading Suggestions 2020 for grades four through five. These authors and their works are available as print or digital resources via the collections of the Belmont Public Library. For help with digital, feel free to visit the links below in the Belmont Public Library website. 
If you're looking for a realistic read that will make you laugh out loud, be sure to check out Frindle by Andrew Clemens or Grace Lynn's Year of the Dog, and don't pass up Cardboard Kingdom by Chad Sell. This is a great list of funny books that will keep you laughing for hours on end. When you're looking for some nonfiction, this list won't steer you wrong. Be sure to check out The Undefeated and The Promise of Change. No matter what you're looking for, nonfiction is a really great way to explore new subject matter, and this list helps you do just that. If you're looking for an out-of-this-world journey, check out fantasy, sci-fi, mystery, and adventure books. Some really great series here, Amulet by Kazu Kibuishi, The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, and of course, anything by Rick Riordan. If you're a fan of the I Survive series, these other historical fiction titles will be right up your alley. Check out Margie Prius's Heart of a Samurai and Jennifer Nielsen's Words on Fire. But truly, pick any of these titles and you'll be immersed in wonderful historical fiction. So those were the summer reading lists for K-1, 2-3, to and 4-5. to We have one more list to go. Belmont Public Schools and Belmont Public Library decided to curate a list of very important titles that are relevant to the social injustices that have been happening across the country this past, not just week, but really hundreds of years. This list is incredibly important, and I think the only way to do it justice was to use the words from the list um, that kind of introduce it. So I basically just reread that and did a quick scroll through. And you can peruse this list and, and find these books. And there are books that are great, not just for students or for parents, but books that can be shared as a family. Here's that list. These books teach about the history of racial injustice in our country and give hopeful messages about the advocacy and anti-racist activism that we want to inspire in all our students. We prioritize sharing books that can be read by children and adults of all ages. Many of these books demonstrate how kids can be advocates and activists. Many are books that inspire children to feel pride and joy in who they are. We hope this list will inspire discussion and learning among families, provide a way to better understand history, and encourage us all to better understand each other. So those are our four summer reading lists for 2020 for the Belmont Public Schools. Amongst those lists, there are so many wonderful, great titles and series and authors. Be sure to check out as many as you can this summer. Now to talk about summer reading at the Belmont Public Library, Miss Lauren. Hey guys. So I know that summer reading is going to look a little different this year, um, but just because we are being socially distant doesn't mean that we can't still have a lot of fun. Uh, the goal is to have a challenge sheet that's going to be ready by June 29th for you guys to take a look at and participate in summer reading at the library. So the first part is the challenge sheet, which is just going to have a bunch of fun activities that you can do at home while being socially distant or in your backyard or in the house with a parent or a caregiver. Um, that'll just be fun stuff. And for each one of those things that you work on on that challenge sheet, will enter you into a raffle for some pretty cool gift cards for places that are in Belmont Center, especially. So we're talking Rankatories or the toy store mm. or the bookstore, I believe. So we got a lot of cool stuff going on for that. Um, whenever you participate on the challenge sheet, some pretty fun stuff like, uh, you know, can you build a fort at home uh, or cooking with your family or even reading, you know, if you, you know, when you get to do any of those things. 
you're always working towards one of those really cool um, prizes. And there are other stuff too along the way, smaller ones, uh, smaller prizes along the way. So that's the first part. Um, and then after the, you get the challenge sheet, you might think, well, yeah, but I miss kind of the other fun stuff too, like some of the programs. Worry not. We still are gonna have lots of cool programs going on. They're all going to be on the calendar, which you can find at belmontpubliclibrary.net slash events. You'll be able to see the children's ones too, only if you, um, the only the children's ones if you go to the children's part of the website as well. But everything's on that main events calendar. And I'll have all the information that you need to register if you need to register so you can get your Zoom links. Or if it's something that you can work on uh, individually, then that'll be another thing that you can do too. So keep your eyes peeled on the library website. It's belmontpubliclibrary.net. For events, you wanna do that same URL slash events at the end and keep a lookout on June 29th, which is when those challenge sheets are going to be rolling out. So we can all have a really awesome summer and make sure that we um, have as much fun as we still can while being safe at the same time. Fantastic. It sounds like even though we're gonna be socially distant, we're still gonna be safe and still enjoying and immersing ourselves both in great programming and great books, because that's what summer reading is all about. Totally. Miss Lauren, thanks for coming today and making this video with me. Um, I'm sure everyone appreciates your time and your efforts, and thank you to all the people at Belmont Public Library for working to make these lists, as well as provide such great services. And thank you to the friends of the Belmont Public Library and Belmont Center Business Association, because without them, we wouldn't be able to have these cool gifts or any of the cool things that we're going to be doing, including the performers. So we hope that you guys can all have a good time with it this summer and have happy time reading. Excellent. Everybody, have a great summer. Read as much as you can, stay safe, but have fun. Till next year.